Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, for installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So... Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, a home assistant. It's a awesome home automation platform. You can literally automate your whole house with it. Um, I do uh, my, mine, I have nine plus devices um, on two uh, home assistants. Um, so, uh, this one will be the Docker container, and it won't be the Home Assistant OS, which comes with the supervisor. Um, so we're going to get to installing it on Dockage. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to search and type in home, and then I'll, I'll click the how to install Home Assistant on Dockage right here. In the end, Docker Compose. So version 3 of, of Docker a Compose file form that's being used. I'm going to set services, and then the first service in these services is called app. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Home Assistant. And then image is coming off of GitHub. And then this is a Docker image. And then this is a Docker image tag. Restart and let's stop. So I'm into it, that means if you stop for no reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes right here. On the host side is a local volume, and then on the container side is config, and then etc local time is on the host, and then now this is on the container. Uh, so the left side over here is on the host, the right side is on the container, same with, uh, with all three of these. And then uh, run db us is on the host side and then on the container side is the same thing and then read only the network mode is set to host so it's going to share the host network so um that means that we don't need to port map or anything um and then now volumes the home assistant config is a local vo vo volume that's uh that docker manages so um the port uh, would be eight one two three. So uh, I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file, and then I'm gonna go over my dockage and get it installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So I'm going to start on uh, my, my dockage. I'm going to go to compose and then stack name. I'm going to type in home assistant stack. And then now I'm going to go over to editor over here. I'm going to paste in the Docker and post that I, I copied over in uh, Big Bear Video Assets. And then now I'm going to go up here to deploy. And what this done is it downloaded Docker image off the registry, got it extracted, and got it up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the options in the Dockage UI that interacts with the Docker engine. So uh, you can see active, exited, and inactive stacks, which you can see over here. I'm going to go in the stack. So you can see your actions up here. You, you can go in edit the stack then you can edit the docker compose over here you can also add a like an nginx uh service underneath the services right right here and then you can go into it and add your image i'm going to delete that so you can also edit the uh ui over here uh, from the ui over here and then it'll sync uh, vice versa um so you can get out of that by clicking the edit button again. You can completely delete this like I just did. You can add URLs, set environment variables, set networks, internal and external. You can also go up here to actions, deploy your changes, save your changes, stop it inactive, and then discard your changes. 
you can restart the stack right here. You can update the current tags on the stack. And then you can press stop. You can stop an inactive and then delete. You can also see the containers in the stack. You can see the Docker image a plus the Docker image tag. You can go into bash and you can go into your container that way. You can also switch to SH. You can go back into the stack. You can see the logs down here, great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose right here. And if you want to edit it, you just go in and edit right here. So that's a little bit about the UI options uh, for stacks and dockage. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So um, now we'll put your IP address in of the dockage and then 8123. And then I'm going to go to it. So now it's going to say create uh, my smart home. I'm going to click it. Now I'm going to put a name in and then a password. And confirm password. And now I'm going to say create account. And then now I'm going to say next. You can put a country in and then say next. And then now you can turn on analytics. You should distal data and then diagnostics if you'd like. I'm going to say next. Now it's found some devices in my home. So I'm going to say finish. So now uh, you, you can see uh, devices and you can edit the dashboard. You can go, go to energy, map, the logbook, uh, history of the uh, devices and entities and areas, um, a me a media, a to do list, developer tools, and then the settings. You can also see notifications. And you can go to your own profile and change your settings. You can change your password, put a multi-factor authentication in. Um, you can go and uh, go into set, uh, settings and then system. And then you can also set up backups. So that's a little bit about the, the UI and how to get it installed on Dockage. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Home Assistant working on Dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.